Hi, my name is Amanda and welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about my recent favorites. Yes, stuff I've been loving lately. Not stuff that I've just been liking, but stuff I've been loving. There's some things that I quite haven't been loving. So, uh, yeah, I haven't got any makeup on. Two reasons. One, it's too hot. Two, I have this giant zit come out this morning. I'm not even joking, it's not even a zit, it's an alien. So you won't subscribe or you will unsubscribe if I show it to you. So I'm keeping my hair, that's why I didn't wear makeup. But yeah, it's boiling hot and I'm sweating. If you live in the UK, you know it's a really hot day today. So I just throw on a red lip. I think that's a good trick to fool people into thinking you've made an effort when you really haven't. So yeah. Uh, let's waste no time and get on with it. So we'll start with, faint. we'll go to the foundation route first. And let me just have a nice swig of that. Mm. Right, sorry. Right, these, um, this is not extremely, extremely recent, but it has been recently-ish, uh, I'd say about two months. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This is in the shade 125, which is natural rose. And I do really like this foundation. Really fresh looking on the face. Good medium, good solid medium coverage. And yeah, I don't really need anything more than medium coverage. Um, I've got like acne or anything anymore because I'm getting all of it. So yeah, really nice foundation. Doesn't settle into lines. That's my main quibble about foundations is settling into fine lines and making you look older. So yeah, really like that. Another one I really like, which is very similar in the way it feels on the skin, is this Max Factor Radiant Lift Long Lasting Radiance. This is in natural. Uh, yeah, really really nice foundation as well it uh, doesn't sit in lines doesn't accentuate doesn't make you look older it's not really just a really nice like again i tend to go for glowy foundations so bear with me i'm always want to be glowy so yeah those two are really really nice actually another two i've been really loving recently uh i think i bought this one about a week ago week ago really really like it uh this is the elf foundation uh, really nice this is in the shade of vanilla and I really enjoy this I've been loving it uh, really nice on the skin um, yeah uh, pulling a bit dark on me I've got to be fair with you uh, I might have to get another color and mix them but this is available in I can find it on Superdrug for £6.75 what a bargain you get about I don't know how many fluid ounces you get in here uh, you get 20 so 20 fluid ounces yeah I like that definitely get a lighter shade and try and mix them a bit I always do that <clears throat> last foundation and out of those foundations I've just showed you this is the best one I'm obsessed with this this is my new kind of go-to favorite it's the flower beauty light illusion foundation really stunning foundation feels smell like moisturizer on the skin does not sit in fine lines it is stunning i really enjoyed this got like a nice luminosity about it it does say a luminous makeup luminous feel and it, honestly it is again pulling 12.99 this is which and you get a good size 30 mils in you uh but yeah really really nice foundation uh just you can see it it's kind of like a dewy kind of look to it it's just stunning um pulling a bit dark so i might get a lighter shade and mix the shade range because you can only get this on superdrug i've looked everywhere uh but it's an american brand and they only ship in america you can't get overseas shipping so the only place i found this in the uk is on superdrug that's it. Shade range is a bit pants on Superdrug. There's about eight shades. Uh, I think this was the second lightest. There's a porcelain colour. This is a nude colour, but this is, this pulls quite dark even. But I might get the porcelain colour and mix them. So yeah, really like that. Uh, when I won my first on at the moment that I bought recently is this Revlon Candid Foundation. 
I just wasn't a massive fan, I gotta be honest. Uh, it did like cake off on me, it just looked really cakey actually. So yeah, one a big fan of that one. Right, I know I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. Moving on to concealers recently, you know. Uh, yeah, I won't go too in depth, but I do really like these Makeup Revolution concealers. Um, really crease a little bit, but if you work the creases out, they are very, very nice. Um, yeah, extremely nice. Good, amazing drugstore concealer. I also purchased this e.l.f. concealer, um, which I'm afraid I'm a, it's way too light on me. The shade range again was really hard to work out, but this is too light. But what I find it did, even though it's too light, what I find it did when I did try and put it on under my eyes, is it dries so fast. You've got to be quick. You've got to be quick. Uh, it dries down really quick, so be wary of that. But I think um, it had good coverage, so yeah. Uh, another one I've been really liking lately, and some people don't like this one, is I actually really do enjoy this. I think this is a really nice concealer, this L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. Big Dofa applicator, which is all the range at the moment with concealers. But yeah, I, I really like this one. I, I think it really nice and it's £10 normally but I can always find it on sale for like 6 95 and stuff so yeah I never pay the full £10 so yeah really like that. Disappointing concealer that I've bought recently is I'm afraid it's going to come up this Jeffree Star concealer apart from the packaging um I, I'm not a massive fan for £22. It didn't do enough under my eyes, being truly honest. It wasn't bad, but what puts me off is £22, 3.4 millilitres. That really puts me off um, using it or repurchasing it, unfortunately. So, yeah, that was quite a disappointing purchase. So, yeah, we've done that. Well, let's go on to pages now. Um, Again, I recently bought this and this is stunning. Um, not quite sure on the banana colour, but I just love the feel of it on my skin. Um, it's nice and softening, it's not too um, drying. So yeah, I do really like this. I want to get the pearl lace colour. So I'm gonna put an order through for that. But yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, another, not disappointing, not truly disappointing, but because of the mills you get in there, I'm kind of on the fence. Really nice powder though. Smells like it's so stunning. Um, but again, disappointed because I've used this three times and I can already see it going down rapidly. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I hated it, but I'm just disappointed with it because you don't get a lot in there. So yeah, that was my main quibble. Not the actual formula, the formula is actually stunning. It's mainly the amount you get for the price. So yeah, I know they weren't drugstore. I know these are not drugstore, but I just thought I'd sneak them in. So yeah, another thing I've really been loving, this is a fiver on, if you've got Beauty Bay, Makeup Revolution Super Drug. This is the Revolution Pro Opalescent Skin Finish. This, I, I love this. Uh, this is amazing. Stunning, but what you do is, obviously after you've done your makeup, is it gives you a lovely shine, like a, a glow, a glow, I love a glow. So yeah, you just, I just literally put this all over my face with like a soft brush. And it is supposed to be like a dupe for the Ambient Hour Lighting Glass Powder. So, just really stunning. I don't know if you can see that, but I do recommend that. Really nice. And moving on, we're going to go to a contour part that I'm in love with. And when I say I'm in love, I mean we can't be parted. We won't be parted for ages yet until I can find something that's just as amazing, but for eight pounds. I love this palette. Oh, stunning. They are, oh, don't let me show you my lid. They also, sorry, girl, she knows, they also sell like a light version of this. I think this is the medium one, but they sell a light version. Like, I like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. 
but yeah that is an under eye brightener is stunning look at the pigment in that oh, just in general buttery pigmented oh just really really stunning palette blush for eight pounds you cannot complain so I really like this Dr. Paul Pore at the moment. I've been using the death out of this on like a no makeup day. Really kind of nice just to give you like rosy red cheeks if you're wearing no makeup. Really, really nice. I like that. So yeah, I got that on a subscription box. So yeah, let's move on to eyeshadow palettes. The ones I've been loving and the ones I've not so been loving. These are the ones by affordable ones that I have been loving. Really like this. This is like nine pain, ten pain. This is the Rimmel Spice Edition. Uh, really like this palette. It is a nice palette. Just the pigment's good. Like, look at that. Uh, like the kind of tone to it. I love these kind of tones anyway. Uh, yeah, really, really for drugstore. Really, really nice palette. Uh, I know I'm itching my nose. And I've got makeup up open. Let me just get the tissue. Now the palette I've been loving, I call this affordable because I, I think Morphe is affordable, being honest. It's not. Uh, highly priced. I mean, for 20 odd quid, you get a ton of shadows. This is a stunning palette. I've been loving this recently. This orange, these orange shades here, these greens, I've created about three or four green smoky eye looks. Just a really nice palette. Just look at that. Mm. Got some lush purples, but no shade in there has disappointed me yet. So I really love that. And in comparison, a palette, a palette sorry, not, not a palette, a palette that I wasn't keen on was this Morphe Bronze Goals. I thought this was just wasn't my favourite palette. In fact, it was really disappointing. You just you just couldn't get the pigments. I couldn't get those shimmers to show up properly on my eyes. Yeah, that was a big disappointment. Sad, so sad. Two palettes, again, that I have been loving. I mean, I, when I say loving, I mean loving. And for the price, for literally seven to 10 pounds, we have the Soph Extra Spice Palette. Really love this palette. The mattes in there are stunning. Uh, they blend so nicely. They blend like a dream, they do. Shimmers are nice, decent, good shimmers. Um, and for, I think I paid 6 99 for this. Uh, really like it, um, really nice palettes. Uh, and another one I've been really loving, again affordable, is this Makeup Revolution. I, 10 pounds. My lord, and that's this Kami palette from Makeup Revolution. Really, really, really nice palette. Uh, quite small, compact. I do like a compact palette. But yeah, oh, I've made some amazing eye looks over this. Really have. Look at this. It's like a dual chrome. Look. Ooh. Ooh. And yeah, just these shimmers. It's like a formula I've never seen it in any makeup revolution. Look at that. Stunning. Really, really nice. I've never like look. Really, really nice palette. I love that. That's been I've been going to this like every day, literally every day I do my makeup I just pick this up. Because it's just so bloody nice. I just love the colour scheme in there as well. Uh, all the colours combine really well together, I think. Very cohesant um, palette. You've got some nice transitions, you know, things to blend things out with, some lovely shimmers, so can't recommend that enough. And if only for the packaging. My lord, stunning. Um, yeah, we've done that. Right. I know my mouth gets dry when I shoot these videos. Mm setting sprays i've got tons more makeup but this is just the makeup i've had recently um 
I do highly recommend this setting spray. Again, dewy, dewy, give me dew. This is the collection Primed and Ready Dewy Makeup Fixing Spray. Really, really nice uh, spray. Uh, stunning. Nice mist. But a really, really full six pack. You cannot go wrong, I'm serious. They do a satin version of it, um, not a satin, a matte version of it, which is four pounds. Well, it was in my local Tesco, but they do a matte version of this as well. But a really, really, I recommend that. Really a nice setting spray. Uh, last setting spray I bought recently, and I bought this about a week ago, is this L'Oreal, again, dewy, is this L'Oreal, and this packaging is stunning. L'Oreal Shake and Glow, which is like a dewy setting spray. Uh, fixes, prepares, hydrates, and it's a luminous setting spray. And apparently this is supposed, sorry, this is supposed to be, again, that fine, just don't drink that, that fine mist, which I, I know I got no makeup on, but really, and you press it into the skin, it gives you a lovely, it gives you a stunning glow, being honest. Like I said, it is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha um, Luminous Dewy thing. So, and that's 50 quid. And this was 9 99 in Superdrug. The only place I could find this, uh, the only place you can get it, or I could find it, is Superdrug on their website for 9 99 But they had an offer on where you got two L'Oreal products for 14 So if you bought two of those, these, that would be seven pounds each. Really stunning setting spray, love that. And <clears throat> I haven't got, oh let me just add this into the mix. I know this is going back to the palettes, but another palette that I was really excited at first and I didn't stop using it, but another palette I've got disappointed with is this one. This is not cheap, no. But yeah, I've kind of stopped reaching for it now. Uh, it's got a bit boring, but I don't know, maybe I'll reignite my love for it. I, I'm not sure yet. Um, I better have it for 50 quid, so yeah. I haven't got really many lipsticks. Um, I do like the formula of, I I do buy a lot of L'Oreal lipsticks. I really enjoy L'Oreal lipsticks. I uh, just really do. I really do like the formula of these ones. Uh, wasn't that keen on this colour on me, but I really do like that formula. Uh, really, really nice. I'll buy a couple more just to, I don't think it was the colour I didn't like, but I actually really like the formula. And I'm gonna put this in here because I haven't got many lipsticks I've been really enjoying lately. So what I've been wearing over and over a lot uh, these L'Oreal, I love these chocolate lips, these ones that smell like chocolate, I'm obsessed with them. I keep reaching for them again and again, and I do have tons of the products, but I just keep reaching for these. Um, number one is because <laughs> with lipsticks I struggle because I, I kind of got to find a lipstick, I drink too much tea in red wine, but I kind of got to find one that doesn't make my teeth look too yellow, being truly honest. Uh, some colours just really accentuate your yellow teeth, <laughs> so I gotta make sure I try and play, you know, a bit savvy here. But yeah, really love these. I'm wearing this on my lips right now, which is the Tasty Ruby. And I'm not joking, I love these because what it is, they don't budge. They really don't budge. I've never had a liquid lipstick that does not budge. It will, I mean, if I kiss my... There is... There is nothing. It just, once it dries down, it won't come off. So yeah, that's the only reason I love these so much. It's because of their staying power. They're a little bit sticky when you first apply them, but once they dry off, you know, once they dry down, that stickiness does go, and I will not get that off now without a really good makeup wipe. So yeah, uh, uh, I'm, Wanted to just sh I wanted to shoot an actual makeup video, but I couldn't because of this spot. So I thought I'd show you. Um, I've been buying so much recently, and I've been quite lucky lately. A lot of the stuff I bought, I have been really loving, which is unusual because normally I get 50/50 on stuff I hate and love. But lately, um, I have been really enjoying all the stuff, and um, yeah. 
if you liked anything uh please subscribe um i wanted to do kind of like my makeup next time using the makeup i got out of my subscription boxes so yeah if you liked anything subscribe hit my red button and my bell and i am going to melt away right now because i'm so hot so yeah um probably that's why i've been because i'm boiling hot so yeah i will see you